Hello and welcome back to Smart Ass, the Think Fast Talk First to Win game. I want to welcome everyone and uh, thank you for joining us on our special YouTube game show. Smart Ass, the Think Fast Talk First to Win game is based on the board game Smart Ass that's available in stores throughout the country and at rugame.com. Today we have our new champion, Melissa Hamilton, who's here from Sydney, Australia. Can you wave and say hello, Melissa? Hi. <laughs> and she's going to be playing against two very good competitors. The first is our former champion, Kate Dole, who's coming back to regain her crown. There's Kate waving. And then Michael Friedman, our first New Yorker to be a contestant. Michael, can you say hello? Hi, everyone. Hi. Th what's great about this particular game show that we do through Zoom is we can have contestants from all over the world. So today we have New York, San Francisco, and Sydney playing, and we have my loyal co-host, AQ. Can you say hello, AQ? Hello, AQ. And she'll be keeping score. She also serves as judge and overall assistant when it comes to making this game show work. Um, we're gonna start off, and we have three rounds, and um, the first round is five questions. Each question is worth 10 points. And what we're gonna do today is play Smart Ass the Game Show for prizes on rugame.com. Our third place winner will get three, uh, $200 in um, prize uh, gift certificate. Our second place winner will get $300 a gift certificate on rugame.com, which has more than 4,000 different games and puzzles. And then our winner will go to the speed round and compete for up to $1 million in prizes and merchandise. Is everybody ready? Yes. Here yes. we go. I'll be asking each person in turn, and you'll see how the, the, the suspense builds. We'll start with our champion, Melissa Hamilton. We'll then go to Michael Friedman and then to Kate Dole. So starting off with Melissa, we have five cards, mystery topics. And the first one is a person. I could be real or fictional, male or female, living or dead. I also could be a cartoon character with a personality. Are you ready to go? Here Ready. we go. I am a fictional character. So it could be any fictional character. Sometimes you take a guess and you get it right. That's how you won the championship. Do you have a guess? Um, Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog. A Jim Henson creation. Good friend of Miss Piggy. That's an incorrect answer, but that's a good guess. Michael Friedman. I know how to whip it. So I'm a fictional character and I know how to whip it. Who am I? I have no idea. Okay, we're going to go to Kate Dole. Kate Dole, your clue is I have a st very strong fear of snakes. Any idea? Fictional character who knows how to whip it. <laughs> I do not know. Okay, we're going to go over to Melissa. Melissa, I am an archaeologist by training. It would be Indiana Jones. Bob. Indiana Jones is correct. 10 points for Melissa. Let's go to the next card. There are five cards in round one. Each one's worth 10 points. We start with Michael Friedman. Michael, you will find me in the kitchen. What am I? What am I? You'll find me in the kitchen. I'm a toaster. You're a toaster. You may be a toaster, but you're not a winner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Kate, your clue. I'm, tick I'm typically used as one of a pair or trio. I'm usually one of something that comes in pairs or trios. Eggs? Eggs? No, that's a good guess too. Um, Melissa, it's your clue now. Remember to put the clues together. You'll find me in the kitchen. I'm typically used as one of a pair or trio. I can make holes. I can be used to make holes. Um, used to make holes. Yep, I can uh, make holes. No idea? Uh, no I idea. Think got a tough one for our contestants. Even the champ doesn't have a guess. Michael, your clue. Sometimes you come to me as you go down a road. Sometimes you come to me as you go down a road. Looks like Kate and Melissa have just had an epiphany, but does Michael know it? Sometimes you come to me as you go down a road. 
you can find me in the kitchen. I'm typically used as one of a pair or a trio, and you can use me to make holes. I don't know. Okay, Kate, my a name fork. is a, what? A fork. A fork is correct. A fork in the road. A fork comes uh -huh. with a knife or a spoon. A cool. fork can make holes if you stab something with it. And most forks start out in the kitchen. 10 points for Kate, very good. Here's our third clue. Melissa, this is for you. What am I? I am both a source of entertainment and exercise. I'm a source of entertainment and exercise. Uh, a skipping rope. That's a very good guess. That's not correct. Michael, mm. sometimes ropes are used to separate me into segments or sections. I can be a source of entertainment and exercise, and sometimes ropes are used to separate me into segments or sections. This is a very hard quiz today. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, we're gonna go to you. I'm an event at the, I am used and I'm used at the Olympics. I am used at the Olympics. I'm not an event, but I'm used at the Olympics. I, ropes can separate me into segments or sections and um, both a source of entertainment and exercise. Any idea, Kate? Wrestling? No. Okay, Melissa. Mm -hmm. if you, the wrestling ring. <laughs> wrestling ring. If you use me, you're likely to get wet. I think it looks, I think it's a bit like what I look I'm like I'm in right now, Bob. Is it a swimming pool? <laughs> yes, it's a swimming pool. Very good. You put ropes in to separate the lanes in a swimming pool. Swimming pool can be for entertainment or exercise. 10 points for Melissa. Michael, now we go to you. This is a famous person, could be living or dead, real or fictional, male or female. Um, I am a professional British athlete. Who am I? Sebastian Coe. Who? <laughs> Sebastian Coe. I think, you're, I think <laughs> your screen is stuck. <laughs> Sebastopol. No. Okay, Kate. I was born in Leighton Stone, England. No idea. Okay. Melissa, I moved to Spain to do my thing. Jensen Button. No, Jensen Button is a good guess. That's not right. Um, Michael, in 2007, I joined the Los Angeles Galaxy soccer team. Beckham? Beckham is correct for 10 points. David Beckham. Very good job. Okay, we, this is the last one. And AQ, could you give us a recap, please? We've had four cards. This is the last card in round one. Let's see where are we standing. Sure can, Bob. So at right before the end of round one, Mel's in the lead with 20 points, but Kate and Michael are tied for 10 okay. points apiece. So let's see who's going to win this last card. We're going to start with Kate. Kate, what am I? I'm part of a car. What am I? An engine. An engine's a great guess. That's not correct. Mm. And Melissa, I was invented in 1903. Um the gearbox gearbox is a guess michael the, most cars have at, at least two of me hmm. any idea most cars have at least two of me side view mirrors side view mirrors is a great guess and they I wish that was the right answer. But I'd love for you to get another 10 <laughs> points. Kate, I am mostly made of rubber. Pedals? Pedals is a good guess. That's not correct. Um, okay, Melissa, are you ready? Yes. You can see me from the driver's seat. You can see me from the driver's seat. I'm going to guess seatbelt. Seatbelt is a good guess. Most cars have at least two of them, but that's not the correct answer. Mm. Michael Friedman, here is your clue. 
You know I'm part of a car invented in 1903. Most cars have at least two of me. I'm mostly made of rubber. Um, and, um, mo and you can see me from the driver's seat. Here is your clue. If you turn me on, I go back and forth. Windshield wipers. Windshield wipers, correct for 10 points. Excellent job. It's the end of round one. We've got everybody still very much in it. Uh, we have 30 points, 20, um, what do we have? We have, we have 20, 20, 10, don't we, Anna, AQ? We do. So Mel and Michael are tied for first at 20 points apiece, and Kate has 10 points. Okay, and now we go into round two. Now, round in round two, the points are doubled, so these are going to be worth 20 points each. Any of you, give, having only a 10-point variance, can win. There will be six cards in round two. But before we go into round two, I'd just like to get to know all of you a little bit better. Melissa's our returning champion from Australia. And uh, Melissa, what, um, what, what it says on my card here is that you used to be um, – a professional um, ice skater, is that correct? <laughs> not quite. Can you tell Bob, us a I'm little bit about I'm your sure ice skating? Because yeah. Australia is not that well known for their professional ice skaters. And so I'm just wondering. No, no. I, I no? can't say that's one of my skills. Oh, maybe I, the card might be wrong. I think ice, ice Kate, sliding would be better for me. Ice sliding, you do that. Yeah. Okay, you're good at ice sliding. Well, that's good. Well, we're sure happy to have you with us today. And Kate, according to the card here, you are um, a well-known um, butterfly collector. Is that correct? Yes, I collect Good. Christmas. Awesome. <laughs> and what's your favorite? You like the monarch? Is that your favorite one? The, the king monarch of all butterflies? Is, is that your favorite comes one? comes down to California into Mexico, the tiger swallowtail and the strong second. Yes. Do you ever find that you get confused that you think you're going after a butterfly and you find out it's just a beautiful moth? Yes, at night, especially. Yeah. At night, that can happen, yes. <laughs> I can see that. And Michael, my understanding, um, again, from the research we did, is that you have one of the original Gutenberg Bibles in your home. Is that correct? Actually, I have the Holy Bible. <laughs> you have the Holy Bible, okay. <laughs> Not the Gutenberg and, and, Bible. And you have... Did, and, and I also, according to our research, um, the, during some of the um, some of the the protesting that was going on, your house was robbed, and the second half of the Bible was stolen, and all you have left is the Old Testament. Is that correct? No, we no, we actually rediscovered the Gutenberg Bar, Gutenberg Bible. So we have. Oh, that. you read you rediscovered it. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Well, we're gonna get right back into the game now. So nice to get to know our contestants a little bit better. And this first one, again, these are all worth 20 points. This first one is a who am I? In this round, you all can answer at the same time. You can only answer once per card. So don't guess too early or you'll be out of it. And the way I'll know who is ready to guess is based on you um, letting me hear your sound. So just to get the audience ready, Melissa, can you let us hear your sound that you'll be making when you know the answer? Okay, that's good. And then Michael, how about you? That's good, and then Kate, good. So please put the, the sound up near your face so that I can also see you. I need the audio and the visual. Um, I thank you all. Is everybody ready? Hands on yes. sound, here we go. Who am I? Could be living or dead, real or fictional, male or female. I am, I am an entertainer. I was born in California in 1946. I was in the movie, The Witches of Eastwick. I'm also the high priestess of glam rock. I met my first husband. Yes, Melissa. Cher? Cher is correct for 20 points. Excellent. Um, you've heard of Cher down there in Australia. <laughs> we have, we have. Okay, here's another one. Where am I? So this is something that you have to go to. I am a natural wonder. You'll find me in the Southern Hemisphere. I am the largest world heritage area in the world. Captain Cook, not Captain Hook, sailed my length in 1770. I'm one of the prime tourist attractions in Australia. I am off the North Queensland coast. Yes, Melissa. <laughs> the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef. I don't understand Michael and Kate why you didn't get to that before. She was slow to go to it. 
<laughs> I was Good job, yeah. All right. What am I? This t everyone ready? What am I? You're not going to believe this clue. You can find me in the bathroom or the kitchen. <laughs> we have a lot. We're spending a lot of time today in the bathroom and the kitchen. It's believed that women use me more than men. I don't think, I think that's a sexist clue and I'm going to throw it out. I can help things, keep things tidy. I can make scary sounds when I grind things up. Hot and cold, cold water flow through me. I'm mostly used in the, yes, Michael. Faucet? A faucet or a sink is correct. 10, 20 points. Good job. I don't think it's true that women use it more than men. What am I? First clue, you can find me in the bathroom or the kitchen. No, I'm kidding. It does not say that. <laughs> First clue, I am made for, I am a mode of transportation. I can maneuver through tight spaces. I am used a lot by construction workers and gardeners. I have, th I have only one wheel, but I'm not a unicycle. Yes, Kate. A wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow is correct. 20 points for Kate. Two cards remaining. Who am I? I am a British author. I was born in Torquay, Devon in 1890. I am one of the world's most popular mystery writers. In 1971, I became Dame of the British Empire. Dame of the British Empire. Yes, Michael. Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie's correct for 20 points. Now I have one card left. AQ, can you give us a, a recap, please? I sure can, Bob. So Mel and Michael are tied for first with 60 points apiece, and Kate has 30. Okay. I have, I have the ability, as the host of the game, to change point values at any time. And to make this interesting, this card will be worth 40 points. Wow. So whoever gets it right will be the winner. Okay? Are you all ready? Yes. I'm a place. I am not located in Australia. <laughs> I am a U.S. city. I am one of the world's busiest ports. Louis Armstrong was born here. I am on, yes, Michael. Yes. New Orleans. New Orleans? Louisiana's correct. We have a new winner, Michael Friedman. Congratulations. <laughs> Great. I never would have predicted that you were going to win based on your <laughs> Okay. Thank you so much, Kate. Thank you so much, Melissa. Let's see how Michael does now in the speed round. So, Michael, I have 15 cards here. If you get all 15 correct, you will win $1 million in merchandise from rugame.com. However, you only have 60 seconds to get all the correct answers. Are you ready? I am. I'm going to read. You have to say the answer when you think you know it, and then I'll go on to the next clue. I will read these as fast as I can, okay? Um, AQ, get ready, get set, go. Where am I? I'm a government building. Um, I was established in 1918. I'm famous for being full of gold. Bank robbers consider me the ultimate challenge. Fort Knox is correct. Who am I? I'm a fictional character. I like to go traveling in the woods. I'm afraid of the big bad wolf. My grandma um, looks like the wolf. Goldilocks. I'm part, part who? Goldilocks. Goldilocks. No, Goldilocks was the one with the three bears. Oh, sorry. Um, my name has four words. The beginning of my name is little. I forget that one. Go, go to the okay, next one. Okay, we'll go to the next one. Um, what am I? Um, I would be the same by any other name. Um, I am something you would find in the garden. I look best in spring. Rose. I'm a type of flower. Rose, Rose is correct. Rose. Okay. Who am I? I'm a fictional character. Um, a Brit by birth. I spend most of my days outside of England. I like the game Quidditch. I belong to Gryffindor House. I'm an orphan. Um, oh, we're out of time. Sorry. Let me see if you got all 15. Just a second. Let me count. Uh, Michael, you got two, so you'll get twenty dollars in your gift certificate. The one you got stuck up on for thirty-two seconds was Little Red Riding Hood. Of course, of course. 
Normally you would know that. But um, you are our new champion. It's quite exciting. We bid farewell to Melissa, our last champion. However, I feel like we didn't have enough Australian content, Melissa. So what I'd like to do is invite you back one more time to play against Michael and see if you can regain your throne. Would you be willing to come back? And, really? and Kate, Kate, you were there all the way to the last question, the final 40-point um, question. So we also would like to invite you to come back next time. Um, what we'll do is we'll meet again in a week and uh, we'll have another, another round. Um, now it's time to say goodbye uh, to all your friends. And when we say goodbye here on Smartass, the Think Quick, Quick Think, Fast Talk game, uh, we say go big, be a smart ass. Uh, so before I finish, I want to remind people that if you like this and you'd like to have the home version of Smart Ass, the board game, please go to rugame.com or any local retailer. It's available all over the country and um, otherwise join us next Saturday when we are going to have the next episode of Smart Ass, the Think Fast, Talk First to Win game. So everyone, we say go big, be a smart ass. Ready? One, two, three. Go big! You're supposed to be talking. Be smart ass. Guys, smart ass. Now go, we'll try again. Go big, be a smart ass. One, two, three. Go, go big! Be a smart ass. There we go. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you next time.